Hey everyone, Scott with Dearly Departed Online. And I'm coming at you from 118 degrees in Palm Springs today. Uh, the reason I'm here today is because uh, there was some sad news that was released yesterday that the, uh, that the actor John Paragon passed away. Now John Paragon, to me, uh, was Jombi the genie from Pee Wee's uh, Playhouse. And he was an integral part of the Groundlings comedy troupe. And it was announced yesterday by the Riverside uh, County Coroner that he had passed away. Now, the interesting thing about it is that he passed away in April. He passed away, it's, let's see, it's June now. So like three months ago, he passed away. And it's only just been released yesterday. Uh, they say pending the families being notified. So uh, I'm gonna take you on a journey to John Paragon's home. This is a, a cute area of Palm Springs. I don't spend much time here uh, exploring, but this is, I like this place. I haven't seen many areas that weren't nice in Palm Springs. I don't like that. That is not Palm Springs to me. That does not define Palm Springs to me. I'm not sure how long John Paragon lived in this neighborhood. I'm not sure how long he lived in Palm Springs. Beautiful day. Beautiful. 117. Oh, temperature's positively dropping. This is the street. houses. Not ostentatious. There it is. That's the house. John Paragon was born in Alaska on December 9th, 1954. His family relocated to Fort Collins, Colorado, where he grew up, and he made his way to Los Angeles. He was brought to the comedy troupe The Groundlings by Chris King, Chris Catan's father. The Groundlings launched the career of so many talents, including Dearly Departed Tour's own Terry Bolo. Also, Lisa Kudrow, Will Ferrell, Phil Hartman, Jan Hooks, John Lovitz, Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Lorraine Newman, and most notably in this case, Paul Rubens. With the Groundlings, Paul Rubens, Lynn Marie Stewart, who played Missy Vaughn, Phil Hartman, and John Paragon became an integral part in creating the Pee Wee Herman show. Pee Wee's first incarnation was a bit more cheeky than the child-friendly one he would eventually morph into, but there was still an edge. John Paragon's Jumbie the Genie was a big hit. Rubens remembers when the Pee Wee Herman show was born. He said John had an idea of creating a magic genie. A day later, he and I were driving along Hollywood Boulevard when I looked over and saw a sign for a sandwich shop named Jombies. Special effects guru V. Neal, who won three Oscars, one for Beetlejuice, and a daytime Emmy for Pee Wee's Playhouse, did Jombies makeup. Paragon's Jombies spoke in Jombies, which he described as Hawaiian waiter, or just bad Hawaiian. And it prompted his famous catchphrase, Mecca Lecca High, Mecca Heine Ho. 
Jambi the genie loved soup, was allergic to dogs, and he hated headhunters. John Paragon also voiced my favorite character in the playhouse, the very sensitive Terry the Pterodactyl. Pee-wee's Playhouse ran from 1986 to 1990. Paragon co-wrote the epic Pee-wee's Christmas Special. Jombie's box had doors that were operated with springs, so when John hit the trigger, they would open. After his dialogue, John, wearing black gloves, would close the box by pulling wires from below, uttering the famous line, The wish is granted. Long live Jombie. Paragon's other acting roles included a man working in an adult toy shop in Eating Raoul. He appeared with fellow groundling Cassandra Peterson, also known as Elvira, on her TV show, and in the Elvira Mistress of the Dark movie as a gas station attendant. He was also in Spaceballs, UHF, and he played Cedric, one half of a gay couple who appeared on Seinfeld, who constantly harassed the character Kramer. John reprised the Jombie character for the Pee-wee's Playhouse Broadway show in 2010. John worked with the Walt Disney Company on ways to incorporate improvisational performance into attractions at the Disney parks. He was an important part of creating Lucky the Dinosaur, the free-roaming animatronic character for the theme parks. Cut to Palm Springs. A lot of John's friends didn't even know he moved to Palm Springs, Fellow groundlings lost touch with him. Rumors of his substance abuse might possibly have been a contributing factor. On April 3, 2021, a friend found John dead in his house at the age of 66. John's cause of death is listed as heart disease and chronic alcohol abuse. John's death wasn't announced to the public until June 18, two and a half months after his death. The delay in the announcement was because immediate family had to be found and notified. Even his closest friends didn't know. Cassandra Peterson released the statement, I lost someone that meant the world to me and was such a huge part of Elvira and my life that it's impossible to express how sad I feel. My friend, my brother, my soulmate, I will miss you and love you forever, Johnny. Lastly, Paul Rubin said about John, we became best friends instantly. In a group of exceptionally talented and funny people, he stuck out, stood out. He contributed so heavily to my success. We felt magical together, and I think sometimes that translated into the work we created. From the time we were both starting out, through my success and fame as Pee Wee Herman, John was my closest friend. And through all of those years, we had huge amounts of fun and laughed our asses off together. I really loved him. Rest in peace, John. I was lucky to know you so deeply. Pee-wee's Playhouse is a television classic. Much like Batman in the 60s, the show still holds up. It's still great. Not much is publicly known about John's last years, but hopefully now he's happy knowing that he brought a lot of smiles and a lot of laughs to the world. Thank you, John. I wish you peace. Wish? Did somebody say wish? Thank you so much to the people who are sponsoring this page by the Patreon or PayPal links below. Especially Kim Nolan Molina, Stuart Martinson, Dale Scarset, Jolene Cladoris, Bonnie Spenced, Amanda Beard, Holly Hart, and Ann Meyer. Thank you. Thank you so much. You heard me.